Welcome back to Great Day on this Tuesday morning. Hey, if you're a parent or a grandparent or a teacher, you know there's so much that goes into preparing your children for that first day of school. You have to pick out the perfect outfit. Also pick out a location for that after school pickup. And maybe, just maybe, you should have a conversation with your child about how to forgive someone. Here to tell us why that's a really great idea right now is our friend, Dr. Tim Jordan. It's good to see you, sir. Yeah, you too. We were talking off camera a lot about this, so I'm excited to bring it to everyone watching. Let's start off with the research. What does research tell us about the cost of not forgiving someone who has harmed us or bothered us in the past? Yeah, I, the girls I counsel, I tell them it's okay to be angry, it's okay to be hurt, frustrated, it's okay to have all those emotions. Mm -hmm. And if you keep holding on to that, that's when there's a cost. More unhappiness, more anxiety, more stress, um, more depression, more mm -hmm. anger. So it's not wrong to have those feelings, but sometimes those become overwhelming. So here is the million dollar question. How do you teach forgiveness to your child, especially as they move into a new school year where they might still have all those feelings about a classmate they haven't seen since May or June? Well, first of all, they have to decide, am I ready to move on? Have I, have I suffered enough? Have I experienced enough of the cost? It's like I'm tired of giving my power away to that event or that person. Am I tired of being triggered by that person? I'm avoiding things. I'm avoiding going to parties, et cetera. Mm -hmm. Am I ready to move on? Because that decision part is important because, because forgiveness is a process. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean it's okay what you did to me. It doesn't mean I'm excusing. It just means I'm ready to, uh, for giving me the opportunity to let go of that and move on from all those feelings that might be holding me back. Would you suggest to tell your child to talk to this person maybe at the start of the new school year or no? Maybe. Okay. But forgiveness to me is more of a personal thing. It's not mm -hmm. about them. It's about I'm tired of holding on to it. I'm ready to move on from the emotions, the feelings being triggered, all mm -hmm. that kind of thing. So it's not about them as much as it is about me letting, setting myself free from all that stuff so I can grow learn from it, mm -hmm. uh, be, have peace of mind, and not be triggered so much. The triggering parts, part is so important. It is, it, but I'm going back to junior high, Laura, where everything we did was alphabetical. So I was always around the other people with <laughs> yeah, H names. People, yeah. And I, I knew my locker was going to be next to these people. I knew I was always going to have to sit at the lunch table with these people. I didn't have power to not surround myself by maybe one of the other H's out there that really bothered me. What suggestion do you have for parents who know their kids are going to be stuck next to the people who do trigger them? There may be, there may be times when maybe you go to the counselor's office with that person and you work it out. Mm -hmm. You resolve the conflict, you let them know how you feel, then you make some agreements about how we're gonna move forward. There's a place for that sometimes, but sometimes that other person is not willing to do that. Mm -hmm. So then it's about what can I do to not let them get under my skin and, and ruin my day and all that kind of thing. And that's when forgiveness, and also coming from a place of understanding, mm -hmm. there's always a reason why people act the way they do. Mm -hmm. And so sometimes it's, I help girls to look at, wonder why that person is acting that way. Mm -hmm. What might be behind that? What's their experience? If I can come from more understanding and compassion, then that person, maybe I can see them in a different light. Mm -hmm. there, I, there's a phrase that says, you, you never have to condemn someone if you, or never have to forgive someone if you don't condemn them. Okay. So if you, if you come from understanding more and empathy, mm -hmm. sometimes that helps for you to also move on and see them in a different light. I'm in my 30s and that's good life advice for me yeah. and especially for all the actual kids out there too. Dr. Jordan, yeah. always good to see you, sir. Thanks. We are going to tell you about how you can get in touch and also listen to Dr. Jordan because he has an awesome podcast called Raising Daughters. It is posted right there on your screen. We're also going to put this segment on our website, kmov.com slash great day following the show.